hello engineers let's have a look at uh, some new type of features again these features will be a sketch based features only but the behavior of these features will be a bit different from the previous features pad pocket multi pad multi pocket now we have features for creating the revolving geometries revolving geometry means the circular geometry the geometries which are actually symmetric about an axis for an example uh, we have pen available marker pen it is somewhat similar if you will not consider the cap then uh, i'll simply say that uh, this particular object this marker pen is symmetric about its central axis to create these types of object what we do is we create its half section of its front view as an sketch again its half section of its front view so consider the diameter of uh, that uh, marker pen is uh, 20 mm and height is 100 mm so first i will take its uh, front view so its front view will be a rectangle having height as 100 mm and uh, width as 20 mm then i will create its half section remember the half section will be about the symmetric axis so the half section will be again a rectangle but having width as 10 mm and height as 100 mm that i will create as an sketch i'll create it for you position sketch select the plane sorry yeah okay i'll be creating that rectangle like say this okay so this will be 100 mm that is the height of your marker pen and uh, this one will be the width that will be your width and uh, this uh, z axis i can consider that as a axis of uh, revolution for that or the central axis about which we will be rotating or uh, about which uh, the marker is actually symmetric so this is what how i will be creating the sketch and i will exit from the environment to convert this into the revolved shape we will go for feature named as shaft select it you can see now it is not asking first limit as length it is asking first limit limit as rotation angle value of first limit plus second limit cannot be more than 360 degree i'll select the profile say this is the profile and it is asking the axis about which you want it to be symmetric say i'll select z axis and say the preview so this is how it will look like the revolved object if you want you can change the values of uh, your first limit second limit whatsoever you want to so i'll give it 90 it will create one quarter only like this i can change the value as per my own requirements this is how the result will be i'll modify the sketch uh, say in the sketch i am adding some more features or shapes i'll just modify the shape a bit say like this again it should be fully constrained as well as closed loop uh, right now i'm not making it fully constrained just for the example you can see the shape has changed it has been updated similarly if i am maintaining some sort of distance from the axis which i am selecting then the result will be a bit different have a look at this just a minute say the shape is something like uh, this axis i had already selected as z axis so what it will do it will create that portion as hollow if you are maintaining 
the distance from the axis then this particular portion will be hollow in the diametrical manner if you will check it with 360 degree this is how it will look like see like this it will be have in the same manner we used to apply the thickness check it in the more if you will go for thick profile then you can have inside and outside thicknesses to your profiles you have created like this you can see so it will be hollowed from inside as well we had sets of features pad pocket multi pad multi pocket similarly we have a set of shaft and groove i'll create a sketch uh, somewhere here and that sketch will be somewhat like this say over here just maintaining the position and i will go for groove groove to the sketch already selected axis this one check the result the groove has been created so it is behaving in the same manner about an axis you can add and remove the material and definitely it will add or remove the material symmetric to the axis here come one of the use of your axis now uh, in the previous case in the case of shaft you must have been observed that whenever i am applying the shaft feature separately i'll need to select the axis about which i want it to be rotated right if i don't want to do that then in the sketch only i will be defining this axis say i have defined this one as a axis i'll exit that axis will not be visible to me over here but when i'll go for shaft i'll select the sketch it will automatically collect that axis as a sketch axis and it will give you the result check the preview if i'll change the axis say instead of this the axis is somewhat like this then the result will automatically be changed it will give me the result according to the axis i have created in the sketch it will automatically detect the axis this was all about uh, sketch based features shaft and groove i hope you are clear with those features.